Time for more, y'all. Let's get some bigs. The heat is bringing them in, baby! Oh, oh my god. I didn't know how big that fish was, dude. We ran through the prototype. Who can bait, baby? This thing's rolling. All the settings are right. If you want to get anything as I just back it up, it's, it's actually fine. rolling right now. It's rolling. Teddy B, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's go, boys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we got the goods. We'll talk Don't about tell. that later. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have our sea legs under us today. Gotta pay my dues for a little bit. Yes. Oh, Got to be off the chain, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm pumped. Looking a little murky. It's okay. <laughs> Chocolate <laughs> martini, there you go. Yep, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll get started here in just a second. Y'all, welcome back to the channel. Holy smokes, are we out on the John boat against the cliffs this morning with Isaac, who is in charge of bait design. I think this is the first time you've ever seen him on the channel. Bait design with Guggen Squad, y'all. We got some new baits we're showcasing. He's tying one on right now. We also got Maddie B on deck. Yes, you know sir. the man. And uh, look at what we have. It's a brand new prototype worm from Guggen Squad, y'all. This is the, what, what are we calling this? Or can we even? We're calling it the heater. We're calling it the heater. Oh my God, y'all. We got a speed worm we're gonna be fishing today in multiple different colors. We're in the shade right now rigging up because although it is 9.15 in the morning, it's already 90 degrees with a feels like temp probably approaching 100, if not now, very soon. So we're probably gonna be throwing deep today. Yeah, there we go. We might catch them on top in these lily pads. Who knows? All right, there we go. Isaac's on throwing the speed worm right on the lily edges. But regardless, we're here to have a good time, man. It's going to be three of us on this John boat that hopefully stays afloat. This is the second time I've done it, and it's uh, sketchier and sketchier every time. So let's get to fishing. We're going to try and put some fish in the boat for y'all. We might start here where it's deep. Otherwise, we're going to venture up shallow. There's some grass, there's some reeds, there's some lilies. We got all the goods here, y'all. It's going to be a fun time. Let's throw some prototypes today. First fish of the day. Is that on the heater? Is that throwing the heater? Dude, that was literally like first cast. Oh my gosh. No way. Prototypes beating out. What am I what have I got? A crack and crawl? Come on, man. <laughs> out doing the crack and crawl, that's not possible. Not big enough, but you count. It's okay, yeah. First fish in the boat in minutes. Matt ain't even finished rigging. He's got a fish in the boat. Oh my gosh. Getting started right, and he was down at the bottom, or was it maybe as it was falling? Soon as I picked up, he was already Soon as you picked up, wow, yeah, good feeling. Bottom, and then you, yeah, like he's on there now. Yeah, there he it is. It does a little, it's a tornado going down. You got him. Yeah. You got him again, dude, two, Save the word, back to the back. No, yeah, wait, that was on the big hammer. He's cranking him in as I'm just trying to get some V-roll over here. The man is killing it on the new speed worms, y'all. If you didn't just see the action, the fall is ridiculous. The swim is fantastic. I cannot wait for y'all to get your hands on these things right here. I gotta rig one up myself, hold on. Y'all, before we really start cranking a lot of numbers on the heater and catching the biggest fish back to back in the end of today's video, you gotta stick around for it. I wanna just break down a few key notes that maybe I didn't mention in today's episode, and that is this worm is designed to be fished fast and uh, just a steady retrieve, almost like a swim bait and really cover some water, but you have a huge advantage, which is the fact that you can throw that worm profile, which obviously in today's video, you'll see they were craving over other options, but you can also slow it down and fish it through the cover. Maybe once you find it or you can target it specifically. So it's a very versatile bait. You can now swim this, you can now pop it along the bottom. And a lot of today's action was actually seen out deeper, summertime in Texas waters, and it was a little bit murkier. So swimming it was not the way we caught a lot of the fish, which is perfectly fine. But mainly on the fall where that tail is kicking on the drop is where we got a lot of hits today. But trust me, when we find a little bit clearer water, we're gonna be really steady retrieving these worms, catching a lot on the run some big fish are going to be hitting this guy right here as you'll see in today's episode as well with that just know we are pumped to throw the speed worm even more and more as it gets closer to production i can't wait for you guys to enjoy the rest of today's episode it is an absolute heater let's go yeah that thing's freaking money that's so sick yeah look it's got a little wobble a little body roll yep. yes on heater you hit it on the way down on the way down dude let's see if he fights any harder when he's at the boat or if it's a little guy oh the drag it might have been something bro no he, he played little dead but i wasn't picking yep. him up much yeah did you see that run all of a sudden he said peace 
we donated a heater. Oh. You couldn't have done much, you know, we're in this thick cover. You could have loosened the drag, but you don't want to. It's tough to fish lighter gear always... in the thick stuff like this. I haven't had a sniff on the crack and crawl yet, y'all, but the uh, the heater <laughs> is getting blasted. Hopefully I can get a bite right here. I'm switching to the worm ASAP. I just got a, I have a one ounce weight on right now, and this is pretty deep right here. I kept this on from some punching last week, and so that's why I haven't tied the speed worm on already, but I'm about to break it out with like a quarter ounce weight here in just a second. Because they keep I getting bites. Hate. We're doing it, y'all. We're breaking out the speed worm prototype. Let me see. What rig do we want to throw it on? Got him. Another fish in the boat. That's Matty B's first after unfortunately snapping off on his last one. That could have been really good. I'm tying on that prototype speed worm. I am pumped to get this thing in the water. Quarter ounce weight. I got a peg on here too, so I should be able to work over this cover. No problem on a four-aught Guggen hammer hook. Rigging this thing up for the first time. I like the texture, and I, we've already seen the tail kicking, and it's getting the bass attention, so there's no need to worry about that. The action is phenomenal. My first time actually throwing it, though. Even though my first time seeing it was literally like a half an hour ago. Look at that beauty. All right, I'm pumped. Let's go. Good one. Nice. Matty B's on with another. Not as good as the one that got off. Okay. Still yet to catch a three-pounder, y'all. But there's some fish in here. Nice one. You always feel good though, like, you know, bringing friends to a spot and they get on the fish. That one's probably a pounder too. Might be swimming straight at us. It's either very small or it's not fighting. Okay, it's a couple pounds. There we go. There's that three. There's that three we're looking for. That's on the speed worm, y'all. The heater. The heater's bringing them in, baby. Let's go. Come on, let's flip it in on the heater. Yeet. What I'm talking about. Okay, so the big ones like the deep stuff. I'm trying to open my spool. There we go. The big ones like the deep stuff. Yeehaw, baby. I think it's photo, might be photo time. Y'all, that was like almost first cast. I don't know if I can get this thing. It's hooked so good. I can probably barely get this thing out. I'm gonna have to grab the pliers. Isaac coming in clutch <laughs> with the mobile pliers right here. <clears throat> Cut that scene. There you have it, y'all. A few casts in on the heater. This is a, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be called black and blue, but it's definitely that darker black and blue style. Quarter ounce weight, it was pegged right there in the thick cover. I mean, a couple casts in. Beautiful. Biggest one of the day, but we're going for bigger. We got a few more speed worms on deck. We're gonna see what we can put together for y'all. <laughs> All right, time for more y'all. Let's get some bigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I just got bluegill, and it's just nice. There we go with another couple pounder. That's a good one. Isaac's got another one on the heater, man, right off the reeds this time, and it's another good one. Dude, look at that fish. Yeah! Ooh, he's a thrasher, y'all. Got one on. I can't tell. Uh, nope, little guy. See, they've been deceiving, y'all. We've thought all of them have been small, and then one breaks Matt off, and then one comes at the boat <laughs> with Isaac, and it's decent size. This is crazy, dude. And let me see that color versus this one, if I may. So here's what we got, y'all. These two colors on boat just rocking the house. We got that, like, neon green and that darker black and blue, and they're just loving the profile and the action this thing has. It's ridiculous. So yes, this is a little bit of a smaller one. Don't worry, don't worry, we just got started. Surprisingly, with the amount of fish we got in here, we just got started. Give us just a minute, we'll put some more in a boat. Look at the little bass, they're just, they're on the surface everywhere. I get so sketched out tying my leaders, because even if it's a good knot or a stronger line, like, over time, it's just, yeah, you make a cast and it'll break. No way, what you got? All right, there we go. Isaac's on throwing the speed worm right on the lily edges. That's what I'm talking about. On that darker color, too. Nice. Y'all better get in the game. We're passing the juice. Oh, no. We're tying on the bright neon. Again, I'm not sure exactly what this color's called yet. Maybe hit us with some name suggestions in the comments, Matt's saying. Get this bad boy named. Look at that. Black flakes in there. And it's. I'm telling you, I'll say it again. It's like a popping neon green. The thing's dope. It looks glow in the dark. It's like a glow <laughs> it's like, pepper. Yeah. It looks like, honestly, it looks like your shirt. <laughs> I don't know if I should risk it and toss it in this tree or if I should just hit the reeds and be safe. But... Oh. You would. That drag, did you hear that drag? What the heck? There you go, there you go. And Matt's on. Not I just lost one and Matt's got one. What the heck? He just picked it up. Nice, dude. This little guy picked it up. I've caught like a handful of fish today. And then this drag, I don't know if one of y'all is playing with me. <laughs> this drag just slipped. <laughs> Matt's putting him in the boat though. 
and I can't secure the bag, dude. All right, well, I tightened that drag down. That sucks. That fish was actually running with it. I gave him a free pass. The good thing is, though, since it didn't get hooked, it'll probably eat again. And we're patterning it. There, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, All right. On the <laughs> there we go. And that's on the knee. No, not the neon worm. Get the net. It's right here. It's right here. Oh, it's gone. It's a goner. <laughs> not the neon. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Oh, but it's all worth it, y'all. Matt literally just said we're putting the pattern together, but we are losing the worm, which is the pattern. <laughs> that was on the bright poppin' neon, a flipper two in. Wow, I see why y'all were liking that color and giving me the black and blue one. <laughs> it was, that was the cast after that one ran with it. Might've been this guy, who knows? Whew, another good one, another two plus in the John with three people out here throwing the prototypes, just crushing it. Oh yeah. You got, you. In the shallows, huh? Oh! 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 Dude, he was chasing after the the cracking crawl was bringing in some grass. Oh, Maddie B's goodness. hooked up. <laughs> what just help. happened? Yeah. Oh! 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 That was a top water flipping rig i saw that fish chasing the grass and i'm like wait a minute what's happening well that was two fish that came out of these trees that i said we weren't going to catch much off of because they're pretty shallow and we haven't had much luck in the shallows <laughs> so apparently i was wrong yeah where's the heater speed worms when you need it man this would be the perfect spot to swim one through yeah this grass is healthy and there there must be just kind of down in it in a mixture with the uh the timber y'all we are getting to the bee at that time of day it's 11 it's getting hot the GoPro was just rolling for this sick catch by Matty B. Yes, on sir. the sprayed lettuce bandito, bandito bug, dude. The color's been slain. We ran out of the speed worms, unfortunately. Isaac found another one. I swear he hid it in his back pocket. <laughs> Anyways, he's throwing another speed worm. We're gonna get there this girl go. back in the water. Oh! Woo! She's skiing off, boys. <laughs> and as she goes back to the deep, if y'all wanna get some deep discounts on the bandito bugs, Code Weston's gonna save you 10% off of not only the bandito bugs, but the heaters when they drop. So be on the lookout because this worm is fire, AKA heater and also the Guggen merch, the Guggen hooded performance. long sleeves, oh, yeah. man. It doesn't get any better when you're out here in the heat. 10% off with Code Weston. Let's get back to fishing, man, but GuggenSquad.com if you wanna grab some more gear. That includes the rods as we're throwing all day today. Let's catch some more fish, y'all. But I did get a bite off of that, okay. that reed that kind of came out from the rest of them. Oh, he's got it. Oh, there, there we go, a little bit deeper. Okay, first fish in a hot minute, y'all. We had to switch some things up. Kind of slow rolling the swim bait now. This is a 4.8 inch saucy swimmer with that underspin. And I think uh, they've just ventured a little ways out from the shallows, but not a giant. Usually when I switch to something like this and they're a little deeper, I'm catching something of value. So <laughs> let me make a few more casts, man. We're all kind of in the process of re-rigging, trying some different stuff. We got the bandito bug still getting thrown. We got a jig now, and then I'm throwing swim bait. So we're switching things up. Uh, hopefully we can catch some more off of this last little zone here and see what happens. Since we ain't got no more heaters. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There he is. All right. That's a good one. Oh, no, it's not at all. Oh, what yeah. just happened? <laughs> Dude, you fooled me. I thought that was a big one. What'd you do? Did you go around a rock? Got lucky with the second one, and that wasn't too far off from that last one, so we're finding some numbers. We're looking for that four plus, though. We want a big one. And I had a crazy day on the yak one time, catching like three to four pounders after catching threes and fours back to back dude on the jig as i'm just working down the bank it was nuts with the jig dude just cranking them speaking of there we go all right we got us a little something <laughs> there we go sauce does it again man this is the 4.8 inch y'all can use code weston on these bad boys as well get you some of that a solid chunker and i'm curious i think this is two and three quarters we gotta put something on the scale for you so let's let's just see i think two and three quarters maybe 213, that is what I call two and three quarters with a little extra. All right, all right, all right. That's one ounce over. We'll take it, baby. Thank you for playing, saucy swimmer. Off to the races. This thing's just so good because you can work it slow, like right through the grass. You know, the chatterbait might not be able to work through all this stuff right here. You don't really know what you're casting into because some of this grass is right below the surface. But the advantage with this swim bait, y'all, is it's weedless. So we're kind of casting into the shallows where there could be some thick hydrilla all the way up to the surface. And it really doesn't matter with this because the hook is uh, not buried in the plastic, but you can see 
it's sunk in there on the top. Quick intermission, Isaac just got broken off, unfortunately, on the saucy swimmer, though, as soon as he tied it on, so he's gonna find something else to throw. And uh, about that catch right here, or, or not necessarily about the catch, but about the bait, you can see that that hook sits flush in that little indention in the plastic right there, so you can work straight through the grass. You just give the reel a nice little half turn, a fast, solid crank, it's gonna shed the grass, and as soon as you pop out from the grass is when those bass are gonna ambush you. I think that's what just happened, because I casted right up in the shallows on the in inches of water, worked through just a little bit of grass and then boom got that bite so you got a lot of versatility with this if you're just throwing chatter baits try something a little bit different and go with a, a saucy swimmer just on an underspin you can work it through more cover you can creep it slow on the bottom not worry about losing it the hook is not necessarily exposed but when you slam that hook set you are going to get those fish and the four point inch size has been my favorite if you're just throwing it in the texas waters where there's potential for those giants so 4.8 inches going back in the water hopefully we can pull up a four or five to end the session y'all let's go yeah. No way. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a good one. Is it really? Yeah. Are y'all playing with me? No, it's a good one. Oh, he looks all right. <laughs> he's got another hook hole in him. Is that drag working? Yeah, that drag is. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. You called that. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. On the last heater in the boat to close it out. What? Look for extra. What? Oh, <laughs> What Top of the mouth hook set. Let me not lose my rod, dude. My jig is down there still. That's why I said we got to put a heater down that tree. Isaac on the heater. Holy smokes. What a day. An exciting day out here today. We're using the heater, making it happen. As you guys can see, a really cool texture similar to Bandito Bug, except it runs lateral the other directions on the sides and a nice thumper tail. So they hit this, this fish hit it on the way down. So I didn't have to do much work. By the way, by the way, by the way, what is up? Wait, I didn't, the I didn't want to interrupt Isaac. The deep trees midday. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. It's going crazy out here on the new speedboard prototype. What is happening? Yo. Oh there my we, God. We got some revenge on that tree where I got broken off earlier. But I knew there was some on that tree from earlier, so we let it rest a little. Came back. We weren't over anxious, and we got two good fish off it to end the day here. Great day on the water. 100 degree heat, we're still reeling them in off the deep timber out here. Googan baits, baby, they get the job done. Dude, it's crazy. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought he was swimming with it. I thought he was running with it. Maybe I haven't had fish on at all today. <laughs> Isaac was making hard to hit the limb when I was coming out. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go. What do we have here? This could be a, a pound or two. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. There we go. Don't come off. We're going to flip this guy. Let's get him in here. That's a good one. That's a good one. That might, that could qualify for the biggest of the day. Oh, shoot. Bandito bug coming in late after we lost a giant. Wow. They're in the trees, y'all. Let's give her a dip and then we're going to toss her on the scale as the boys cast back at the tree real quick. I'm thinking this one's going four and a half. Oh, this is in kilograms. Maybe that last fish was like eight pounds. <laughs> All right, here we go, y'all. We're zeroed out in pounds. What are we talking about here? Okay, so this is 4.16, which does not mean five. I think this is like a four and just less than a quarter because I, I think it's reading in hundreds right now. I just switched it over from kilograms, so I don't believe it's reading ounces because, ow, because there's 16 ounces in a pound. Anyways, it's getting breezy. We're going to get back on the trees, y'all, but a nice solid four plus. Holy smokes, they are biting out here in the deep. No, Sometimes I feel like I'm too hyped for the scenario yeah, and, and it gets like me because I'm like, I'm like, oh snap, that was a one pounder and I just like really went crazy. <laughs> yes or no? Got him, got him. Oh wow. Oh wow. Keep coming, keep coming. Dude, I'm cranking the reel on this. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah, gonna... Let's get it right. He's big. I can tell by what he's big. Yep. It's, it's big. It's, it's big. big. Watch that drag, sir. Yeah. I'm on, I'm on, oh, I'm my on gosh. a light Guggen rod. I'm on a light Guggen rod. Oh my gosh. Dude. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go! <laughs> Redemption, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Searching for it all day. What oh. on earth? Let's go! Dude! That's now the biggest of the day. Let's Dude, go! Dude, look at the shoulders! They saw it earlier, right? Oh! oh. Yep, they saw the oh, miss They fish. saw my heartbreak earlier. I was steaming all day, the guys will tell you. Because I could tell it was a good fish. Thanks so much for Weston getting Isaac and myself out here. We ran through the prototypes and the trusty bandito, man, just always gets it done. Gotta love it. Right All there. right, y'all, four and three quarters. Ooh, that's a big old fish for the John boat. 
There she goes. Good luck would have it. Redemption for Maddie B. I hope you enjoyed today's episode throwing the brand new Guggen Squad Speedworm prototypes. Let me let the boys get the fish back in the water, y'all, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. Don't forget to go grab some new goodies for yourself. If you're in the market for a new rod, some swag, as well as the baits to get the job done, head on over there. We'll catch y'all on the next episode. Thanks for joining. Peace out.